V2500 engine removal and installation using the bootstrap equipment. Before the removal operation, the engine systems must be deactivated and isolated from the aircraft and all the connections disconnected from the pylon interfaces. To support the cowl doors during the operation, hold open braces are installed. Then the engine trolley and cradle are placed under the engine. To support the engine during removal and transportation, fixtures are installed at handling points on the fan case and also on the turbine rear frame. On the forward engine mount, each bolt is loosened and retorqued to the maximum force an operator using a standard wrench can apply. The center hinge clamp of the forward bootstrap is then fixed on the pyramid where hinge arms will be installed. The rear beam of the bootstrap equipment is fixed on the pylon lower part. Then the dynamometers and chain pulley blocks are installed. Disconnect the engine cradle from the trolley. And raise the cradle to the engine using the four chain pulley blocks. When the cradle reaches the engine handling points, secure the supports on the front and on the rear parts. Loosen and remove the bolts of the forward mount, then the bolts of the aft mount through an access provided when the hinge access panel is removed. Make sure that no lines or unions remain connected to the pylon and lower the engine using the four chain pulley blocks. Also check that the engine mounts disengage correctly from their attaches. Slowly continue the descent until the cradle touches the trolley. Then secure and lock it. Remove the chain hoists and the forward hinge arms. Then the chain pulley blocks and dynamometers from the rear beam. Now push forward the engine from under the pylon making sure that nothing catches. With the engine removed, it is now possible to see the aft and forward mounts in more detail. And also the front hinge clamp and the rear beam installation. Notice the hold open brace which holds the thrust reverser cowl door in the open position. Let's now see the engine installation. All the equipments are reinstalled to provide the engine lifting. Start the lifting using the pulley levers and check that the dynamometers show the correct load. Raise the engine cradle gradually. As the engine reaches the pylon, take care that the forward and rear mounts engage correctly. Then install the bolts to both mounts and tighten them. Note that you never use the same bolts. Always change them for new or inspected ones. When the engine cradle is on the trolley, remove the four chain pulley blocks and dynamometers. Then the bootstrap equipment. Reconnect all lines and electrical harnesses to the pylon interfaces.
Finally, lock the cradle to the trolley. Push the trolley out from under the engine and remove the hold open braces from the cowls. The engine can now be put back in serviceable condition.